Hello. Happy Sunday, great people of the Most High God. I wish you happy Sunday, beautiful Sunday. Happy Sunday, great people of the Most High God. Happy Sunday, great people of God. Yeah, this is a very Susan S. So the heartbeat of God, the heartbeat of God is here to bless you with another wonderful word today. I tell you, when you sit down and listen to this word, it's going to change and transform things in your life. And I'm so happy with the one or two words I'm dropping. There's always one or two persons giving a testimony about it. It's not only about the crowd, but it's all about how the word went deep inside you and you make use of it and you decide to change and you decide to stand your ground in the Christian dawn. As you listen to today's message, may you be blessed in the name of Jesus. May the Holy Spirit lead you in using this word in the the right way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is a program titled Don't Give Up in Life. No matter what you're passing through, don't give up in life. Never don't give up in life. I titled this program like this. But today's topic says you are the choosing. You are the choosing. You are the choosing one. Mm. But one thing you need to know is that when you are the choosing, the enemies are always there. You are a target of the enemies. You are the target of the, 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 the devil. You are the target of Satan. You are the target of, of, of evils. Because why you are the choosing? Choosing people are soldiers. Choosing people are Christ soldiers. Christ soldiers standing at the battlefield, standing in the war front. And when you're standing at the battlefield, standing in the war front, which it means you are a target of the enemies. The enemies are praying hard to collect your gold away from your mat, to collect your 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 honey away from your mat, to collect your gold out of your hand. You are a target to them because you know why you are the choosing. You are the choosing. But the only way you can defeat the enemies is only when you listen to the voice of your commander. It's only when you listen, when Jesus is calling you and telling you, come out of that place where you are. Leave that environment where you are. Leave that friends, the group of friends you are staying with. When you listen to the voice of your commander, the Lord God Almighty will help you to defeat, to defeat the plans of the enemies, to defeat the wars they are set before you. Because you are the chosen. You are the chosen. The first Peter chapter two, verse nine say, but you are the chosen, a royal priest old. The holy nation is all special people. Do you see that? You are the special people. You are the special one. God loves you so much. Not because you, we first loved him. You first loved him that he died for you. But because he first loved you. That is why he called you his chosen. Don't forget this word I said that many are called but few are the chosen. You are the chosen one. Many are called, but few are the chosen. Many are just dead, monitoring you, coming close to you to get information about you on how to bring you down. But I tell you tonight, as you make use of this word and make use of it in a better way, God Almighty will expose every wrong, unfailing friends, enemies around you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You are a soldier. In the battlefield, in the war front, that is why you were called a choosing. Soldiers are always having this enemy. They are targets of the enemies. The enemies are waiting to strike. But I tell you, when you put the word of God first, the word of God is sharp and strong, sharp in that two-edged sword. The word of God is powerful. The word of God is life. The name of Jesus Christ is the is, is a strong tool that anyone that runs into that name, they are saved. Jesus is calling your name. 
Jesus is calling you and telling you, pay attention that the environment you are, that the friends you are keeping, Jesus is calling your name and telling you that there are some wrong friends you are keeping that you need to stay away from. The Lord God Almighty is warning and is calling your name. He's calling and calling your name and saying, my son, my daughter, there is this set of people you don't need to stay with. Pay attention to the call. Pay attention to this call. Pay attention to the call of Jesus, to the call of your commander, because he is your commander. And I tell you, you will win in the battlefield. In this Christian dome is a battlefield. The only way you can win and defeat the Satan, defeat the enemies, is only when you listen to the voice of your commander, which is Jesus. I tell you, you will come at a winner. You will not quit. You will not quit because the gospel must move on. The gospel must be preached and the work of God must move on. But the voice of the commander is more important when you listen to them. When you listen to him. The name of Jesus, the name of the Lord is so strong. It's a strong tour that the righteous run into the name and they are saved. The only way I said you can defeat the enemies is the only way you listen to the voice of your commander which is jesus you need the word my sister you need the word my brother that is only way because there is power in the word of god the word of god is strong the word of god is life the word of god is hope the word of god will tell you of a better tomorrow it's only the word that will tell you what tomorrow will become of you need the word of God. You need to be closer to him, the morn. And let Jesus show you those great and mighty things which you don't know. The only way he can show you is only when you listen to his voice. It's only, only, only when you listen to his voice. Because he's crying every day, calling you. Calling your name and say, my daughter, come out of that place where you are. Calling your name and say, my son, come out of that group. Come out of that, that, that guy dream. Come out of it. Come out of that life that, that is not meant for you. The life I didn't create. Come out of it. So that you will be saved totally. So that the enemies cannot get you at the battlefield. So that the enemies cannot get you down at the war fronts. Who is listening to that voice? Who is listening to that voice? Jesus is calling your name. He's calling your name and he's calling your name so strong. You are the chosen. The chosen generation. The royal prison. Look at the way we have been described. That is whom you are. A holy nation. It's all special people. You are the special one. You are the special one. You are a special one. Enemies are attacking every time. Bringing one issue or the other. Either in your career. In your destiny. In your marriage. Because you are the choosing. Because you are the choosing. You can only defeat them. By listening to the voice of your commander. Which is Jesus. Hmm. Said that you may proclaim the praise of him who called you out of darkness. Ah, you may proclaim of him, the praise of him who called you out of darkness. Whatever darkness that they have put in your way, may the Lord God Almighty clear them out of your way in the name of Jesus. As a choosing one, you had the light. As a choosing vessel, you had the light. When light appears, darkness comprehends. There is no way darkness can cover light. No, it's only light that can cover darkness. That is why anytime you come around, I know the enemies are angry because they don't want to see you. Your home is the best. Your career is the best. Your, your business is the best. Yes, because you are the choosing. You are the light. You are the light. Ah! I don't know whoever that is watching. Whatever darkness that is on your way, on your way to success, on your way to freedom, may God Almighty clear them out of the way in the name of Jesus and I replace it with the light of God because the chosen one, they are the light. They are the light and not darkness. Whatever darkness covering your home, covering your marriage, covering your business, I erase it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Listen, I'm still in that verse. First Peter chapter 2, 9. It said, Into his marvelous, called you out of darkness, into his marvelous brightness. Into his marvelous lights. Into his marvelous lights. 
He called you out of darkness into his marvelous life. Just look at the word of God for you. He called you out of darkness into his marvelous life. Let me tell you, I pray for somebody. I don't know whoever that is around you looking at getting more information in order to use to bring you down, in order to use to take you, drag you out of the way of God, take it into the light of darkness. May judgment of God fall on them in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray for somebody. I pray this prayer. Whatever that has been programmed to stop you, may that thing be stopped by fire in the name of Jesus. Whoever they have programmed to come and to come and play the game of a good friend, but he's just in a game in order to get things, in order to destroy your destiny, to succeed in what, 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 what you are doing, to bring you down. May the judgment of God fall of them. May judgment of God expose them. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whatever evil dream that they are beating, they are beating this drum mm, just for you not to search in the life ah may the judgment of god and the fire of god destroy that drum in the name of jesus christ of nazareth the enemies are wicked they are praying so hard just to make sure that they come they remove your gold out of your hand they are praying so hard just to make sure they remove your honey out of your mouth she will not give them that chance she will not give them that chance you know why because you are more than conquerors you know why because you are the lies you are the chosen you are the chosen generation a royal priesthood listen every time to the voice of your commander and i tell you you will be a winner you will testify of his goodness may god bless you i god bless you may god bless you may god bless you this is just a little word i bring to you this evening never you give up a life no matter what you're going through no matter what you're passing through always know that your commander is dead in heaven listening and seeing everything it will definitely make a way for you when it seems to be no way so never never you give up i pray for somebody i pray for the peace of god upon your life upon your home upon your business upon your marriage i pray for the revival of god in that area you need god's revival in your spiritual life may you be revived back in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and i pray also for fire upon your ministry fire upon your career fire upon upon every good thing that you laid your hand on you will carry can you carry excess grace in the name of jesus christ of nazareth thank you holy spirit of god for in jesus marvelous name i have prayed god bless you i love you please anyone that come across this video share it and let people be blessed because for a long time i've not been coming out and many don't know that yes i've started coming out now let them see it that yes mama i've started coming out as you do the sharing god almighty will bless you and multiply you excess excess and excess and excess multiplication of blessings will be upon your home in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i love you with the love of christ stay blessed